Hello and welcome to today's video. This time we're going to be taking our final look through my friend Tim's incredible collection of vintage pan books. Absolutely fantastic collection as I'm sure you've seen already. But this video is going to be taking a look at his collection of astonishing vintage paperback original cover artwork. These items are unique, they're fantastic. I know you're going to absolutely love looking through them as much as I did. So without further ado, sit back, relax and let's take a look. We've got four here. Top left is The Fortunes of Captain Blood ah, by yes. Jack Hayes. Next to that we have The Chronicles of Captain Blood, again by Jack Hayes. A couple of my favourite covers. Yes indeed. We've now got Diary of a Desert Rat by Crump, but I've no idea who the artist is. There's no name. I've not been able to track it down. Okay. And that one is not a pan, it's a panther. Your Walk to Mandalay by Gino de Achille. Ah, yes. Lovely. That one is The Custodians by Cowper, pa painted by Jeff Taylor. That one's up above. Yeah, lovely. The Camberwick Green, I like Glenn Stewart. Okay. A lot of colours for pan. And we've got Camberwick Green, the Pancake Race, and Mickey Murphy's car. But sad to say there's not a complete book. There's a few missing. That is Twilight of Briennes. Yeah. Yes. Another Cowper, painted by Jeff Taylor. Brilliant. Lovely. Ah, yes. So we've got the triptych by Kevin Tweddle for the Pamela Bell covers. And then we've got the well-known Pam book number three by William Francis Phillips. And then in the corner of the skeleton is Pan Horror 16 by Alan Lee. Then we think it's a preliminary rough maybe for Something by Hans Helwig. Yeah. And the one, the last one is the Hitchcock used on a couple of his uh, anthology covers. Ah, yes. And your two standees. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. And just below, I don't know if there, there's a Francis Phillips and another Glenn Stewart to show that. Ah, yes. They'd have a go at anything. <laughs> Fairy stories. And, and over here, yeah. we have the Borrowables. Right, <laughs> it's it's one of the three uh, by Terry Oak. Very nice, very detailed, Oak, isn't it? Yes, lovely. Eric Tenney, it's uh, it's a bush baby, I checked, um, ah, yes. which he rescued from a pet shop and looked and it lived in his studio. Um, he did things like Shockwave by Colin Forbes, mm. published by Pan, and uh, a few others. Yes, John Rains. My, yeah. my bargain from John Rains, well known. For a lot of pan book covers, especially the best sellers of English literature. So we went to meet. Indeed. He's sadly no longer with us. No. And those are all from George Sharp. Three shoot covers. He did 21 of the 22 titles. And the 22nd one was A Town Like Alice because it was a TV tie-in for that one right it's a little like the Fleming still life where they did the film tie-in mm. to ruin the set <laughs> yeah I have asked him many times what he'd do the do it for me but he said no he just hasn't got the skill anymore <laughs> right. lovely man uh, yeah been to meet him a few times in London very nice strange reason Uh -huh, yeah. That's from uh, the Reader's Digest, Children's Bestsellers. Uh -huh. I think it's Robinson Crusoe, and it's by Jack McCarthy. Right. That so, one is from a, a sort of like boys' adventure. Yeah. Um, by and it's got the name. <laughs> and uh, 
Very uh, topical. That was a lo local. <laughs> a local artist. <laughs> local yeah. artist. <laughs> yeah. These are all David Scott, uh, who did. Beautiful. He did some of the Coronet Bond covers. He did Philip Pullman's um, Dark Materials, The Under yeah. Glass. He did um, Terry Pratchett, some Terry Pratchett covers. All right. Uh, but these are all rec stamps. They're all rec stamps. And there they are. By, yeah. um, they're, they're by Warner or... There were two publishers for some Maybe you know. Coronet. They look like Coronet, no, don't they? No, they're Warner and... Uh, they're still going. I've got to pack up the books on myself. Warner or Sphere. Right. They're gorgeous. They make yeah. a lovely set, don't they? Well, I'll say the only problem is if I do get the tenth one, where's it going to go? I'm sure you'll find one. Go on the bus and other love stories. Two versions. I have no idea who who designed them. No. May have been somebody in house. I yes. Guess. Yes. They did quite a few, particularly the photographic uh, photograph ones. Yeah. Very nice. And then going along, we've got. Uh, that one is has a companion, the, the Big Fisherman, and they're both by Pat Owen. Oh, yeah. And that one is Variable Winds Jowner, one of the Mazda de la Roche, but no idea. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh there, yeah. so we've got those are Yvonne Gilbert, who did uh, a lot of the Piccolo Judy Bloom covers. Mm. Uh, she did the ALP cover for. Relax by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Oh, yes. She did uh, illustrated Game of Thrones books. Um, she's a, a very well known, and I've got another seven of those. Wow. <laughs> that will go on the wall one day. One day. If you want to go along here, yeah. we've got this one is by Derek Stowe. It was the cover for, I think it was number 84 of Understanding Science. There are 144 altogether, and he did the covers for. The majority of them and the contents wow. okay. it must have taken him a long time yeah um and apparently they, they, he was quite surprised to find it got it because he said most of them are still kept by the publisher uh -huh. they were uh -huh. hoping maybe that one day they would reissue but uh he did about 12 covers for pan right and then we've got uh stephen richard bar Maldero, the night comers lovely yes i like that one that's very very that nice is. yeah then we've got this is by from a set of cigarette cards of um, gods and goddesses, goddesses, gods and goddesses of Rome and sort of stories about them. And that's mm -hmm. Romulus and Lumus by Cecil Vuvi, who did again did several for Pan, uh, E.V. Thompson covers. Oh, yeah. Alan Lee. Um, oh, yeah. Something, 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 of the, something Tales of the Galaxy, I think that one's called. Yeah. And again, Alan Lee, Devil's Country. Very nice. Pan Classics Kim, but an unknown artist. I'd love to know who did that. It's mm -hmm. fantastic. <laughs> that was one I got from my wife. It was a, a Larry betting harness front piece of Chapter 23, only because was, a cat was in it. <laughs> and of course, no. good old Hans Howard. Nice clear signature on that one. No, no disputing it. I always thought they were quite raunchy for, for Pan. Good time, yeah. But, um, and then we've got, this one is from Paul Davis, who did a book on Lost uh, Occupations, the second-hand book dealer. Mm. Oh, sorry, the antiquarian book dealer, I think it was. Yeah. And he did um, a, a lot of Leslie Thomas covers, the sort of cartoony Leslie Thomas covers. Lovely. Okay. And here nice. we have sort of Dean's. Mm. And I didn't have an idea of the sort of date till I got the original one, the, the book to go with that, and it was given as a Christmas present in... 1935. Right. So that's roughly the date of them. These are like classic boys' own yeah. style. I think all that writing was all done by hand. Yeah. Um, that was a lot of the patterns, and they did the original ones. They did the logos every time I painted <laughs> the logos. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Pretty nicely. That's the lady from uh, Corgi. Yeah. Uh, Roger Hall. As in Casino Royale. Fame. And the, the book's called The Lady. The Lady. Yeah. N49. I, I try and find the book to go with it. Oh, yeah. yeah. When I uh, pull these together. And a few more Deans there. Ah, yes. And want to be framed a frontispiece for... Uh, 
the peaks of the empire. Ah, oh, right, dear. Lovely. Um, okay. That's for George Sharp. So, uh, said, what size, why, why are they all different sizes? He said, whatever size board I've got. So, it's lovely. Big piece, isn't it? Yeah. Was. And below it Jeez. is There's the book. a folding bookcase from the Epco patented book, folding bookcase from 1936. Is that this one? Yes. And I was really annoyed because uh, below are the 20 pans they reissued in, 19, in 2017. Yeah. And they don't quite 19 fit. came and yeah. fitted. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about fitted and then the 20th came and it wouldn't right. fit. A lovely little collection of these. <laughs> Never short something to read in this house, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I've read a few of them. Okay then, Tim, so what is this? So, well, this is Death in the Castle. It's yeah. one of Hans Helwig's. And uh, what I liked about this one is I've, when I was given some of his sketches, mm. he's actually got the preliminary little maquettes ah, he yes, did. Yeah. So we've got that one. And we've got the castle yeah. in the background. And he also did just the trees. Right. And there's a couple of them. So all the different trees. elements uh, he prepared separately. Uh, yes. Right, I see. And uh, I don't know whether we're going to be able to see them later on, but some of the the poor book, the, all the little individual figures he's done. Mm. But um, but then we get things like this, the white rabbit. And, yeah. But there's I've got two folders of these, and of course most of them are just like this. Right. No identification on them, so it's a case of that looks familiar. Um, so you have to be a bit of a detective yes. yourself, really. Yes. To uh, to find out where these. I don't, are I don't know from. why, but I do actually like that one, although it's yeah. not. There's not that much to it. There's an air of gothicness around yes. it. When was this one published? It's the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, 66. 66. 66, right. Yeah, okay. Yes. And he used, um, he did quite a lot of the Pearl Book, mm. uh, which I've got quite a few of these. Yeah. Very nice. Got three by W. Francis Phillips. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> and maybe are these edges, are they? Yeah. Um, Oh, that, this one works in age, isn't it? Yeah. I think he looks as though he's. <laughs> I don't know, he doesn't look quite natural somehow. But they're all W. Francis Phillips. Yeah. These two are Adam Steele. Yeah. And that's. Um, H. I wrote on the back. Vengeance Valley. And that one is. The Killing Art. <laughs> Crossfire. Lovely. Yeah, they're great, aren't they? Yes. Nice, nice trio. They'd look good all framed up in a, in a set of three. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just a... Yeah, there it is, yeah. Right. Number 17. Yes. I have got the other two as well, isn't it? Okay, if you ever right. want to sell this one, just bear me in mind. <laughs> <laughs> this, is what, this is a disappointment. Okay. Because... At one time, there must have been something on the back. Oh, like the back, the back cover, cover, maybe? Did the back cover have a little illustration? I don't know. Oh, good question. The bond oh. made, that's it. Yeah. It wasn't very inspiring on the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a bit of a boring back, wasn't it? But there's the, there's the original. Well, that's... Yeah, the X317. Yeah. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. I'll have to double check, because I'm sure I've got that one. Yeah. Um, interesting, I've never noticed. So he he signed it there. Yes. But the signature's been well, removed. There. often, yeah, you have to look. Yeah. Sometimes it was Hans Helwig, mm -hmm. sometimes Helwig, sometimes um, HH, right. and sometimes just an H. And it's interesting, there's a um, Yana one, mm -hmm. White Oaks. I don't know whether we want to digress at this point. We can digress as much as you wish. In nice condition, these two. Mm -hmm. Almost unread. Wow, so, look at them. From the cinema bookshop in Hay on Wye. Oh, there you go, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, a recommended bookshop. Uh, I... Fantastic. These are Minters. Yes. Have you noticed? <coughs> That's the way to have them. One's a first edition and one's a second edition. Oh, what, the... what do you notice about the covers? 
That one says Hans um, Holbeck. And that one hasn't. But they've made oh. her a little bit... She's not quite as um, revealing on the, on the later oh, edition. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if they've covered her up a little bit. And they seem to have touched up and they've removed Hans's name. Yeah, and they've changed the, uh, yes. the writing. Yes. And this is why it's always good with Pan to collect the, the later printings, isn't it? Yeah, that's a fourth from 62. Yes. And this was the That this was the maybe first. first, yes. And they are... They are in very good condition. Time machine books. Yes, I that's think I love can. them. I love books like that. I'm not sure how much I've paid. I think it was about £3. Yeah, that Cinema Bookshop, yeah. £253. Yes. They're great value for money. We recommend the Cinema Bookshop. Again, another Hans Helwig. Yeah. I don't know whether he, he got his full money worth on that one because <laughs> some of them were his, a little bit down the corner. Yeah. Uh, I noticed one the other day, he only got paid £25 for right, it. Right, interesting. Um, yeah. He was uh, one of the uh, one of the monster rats. Um, they just fill it all up with blurb, don't they? This one? Oh, yeah. One of the, Fal one of the Falcon Hearst. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Lance Warner. These are the books I remember my ground reading <laughs> <laughs> in Pan there Editions. There, there it is, the original. That was one that Mark thought wasn't commercially, you know, financially viable. Ah, well, you know. I quite like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I've actually got quite a lot of um, sketches to go with this one. Oh, brilliant. That's with great, her turn the other yeah. way and him in different poses. Which I, I do put on the website when I'm mm. Lovely. Now, that one hasn't got any... That's all it's got. Fancy. It hasn't got the overlay, so... No. But... Uh, very similar to one of the American edition. That, uh, All right. Uh, and we've got... The, this is the case, is it? Yeah, H yeah. number three. Yes. Unfortunately, we've lost the... That sort of the American coat of arms. That, oh, the, yeah. The eagle. So that's that's just got lost over it's just time. It's just come off because they're all stuck. Bit stuck mm, yeah. Um, yeah. It's fascinating when you see how they're actually put together, isn't yes. it? You know, there, there's nothing that high tech about it. No, uh, when we come to one later on, it's, uh, it's the diet book. I'm always fascinated by that <laughs> one. Um, right. Which is the tribe that lost its head. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it up. And beautiful. In one edition, it's just a small bit, and in the other one, it's the whole cover. Yeah. Yes. That's a. Is that an early M? Isn't it? Um, it could be an M1. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow, there it is. Yes. Very nice. That's the mystery one. Oh, another Francis Phillips. Oh, yeah. yeah it's such a great, um, a really distinctive signature yeah. and style. I've got um, that one by him, but That's, where's this one come from? It's a, a now attack force. Yeah, okay. A new English library. Yes, yeah. there's, um, there's about six in the series. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think it... Competed with it like the, the Guardians or anything like no, that. No, no. Oh, lovely. Another one, we've got another Pearl Buck. The Exile. Some traced it, I don't know who did that. Yeah. But the Exile. It's nice, again, isn't it? Yeah. In the sketches, I've got all these uh, se separate characters. Mm. This one. I need to find this. It didn't come with a... A back of the hide it. It's just one of the... It oh, was, yeah. was stuck to something at one time. Oh, yeah. But, uh, so that's a later printing of that one, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. There's two or three versions of it. Again, I've got the sketches where it's just her and the building in the background. Yeah. Done separately. And... Wow. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. You, need to, you need to lift it up to appreciate it. Yeah, you've, yeah. You've gone with the time. Like all, yeah, well, the plastic does age. It's it's it's, uh, it's the scourge of um, vintage Star Wars collectors. The bubbles are yellowing. It makes them all yellow. Yeah, I'm going to test you here. Okay. Right. Am I guessing the book or the character? The book. The book. Okay. I may have sorted it out. How many Adam steals it? All. <laughs> it's it's a penguin. Okay. Still don't recognise it. Ah, uh, yeah, a little bit, a bit, little bit after my period, time, but yes. yeah. He did, he did, he did a, a Spanish stirrup in other stories. And this was Francis Phillips as well, by the look of this. Yes, yes, yes. He did. So that's W. Francis Phillips again. No, it's... that's Jack McCarthy. Oh, sorry. Yes. There he is. Yes, yeah, sorry. I remember what it was one of the others I was looking at. Okay. Yes, W. Francis Phillips. Well, this is a climbing one of some sort, yes. then, isn't it? Now, are there any clues? 
Nothing at all. No. Monday. <laughs> Maybe that was his deadline. <laughs> Monday. There's not nothing on it at all. Is there? No, I found a similar one in a children's book, but mm. um, not that one. And there's also another yeah. Francis Phillips. Okay. But I have no idea. You Don't know thought, what this is either. You'd have thought that would have come up. Yeah, but so I it's mean, like a trawler man yeah, or something like that. The isn't detail. It? It's fantastic. Yeah. So basically, the ask is: Does anyone recognise these two recognize covers? Those two, yes. Okay. Well, we can certainly um, both, uh, put the word out for yes. you. Then, you know, yeah. You never know. I don't think he did Reader's Digest. Well, there's lots of the Jack McCarthy. Oh, I know where Reader's Digest. Right. So, uh, we're going to have a change now. Okay. This is more a, a newer one. Okay. This is, is who's this? This is Keith Scaife. Yeah. And it's the Werewolves of London. Ooh. Now, Aaron, I know there's a record called The Werewolves of London oh. by Warren Zevon. <laughs> um, nothing to do with that. No, Keith, Keith is still with us. Yeah. And he lives in Penrith. And I meet up with him occasionally because his mother lives in Leek. All right. So when he yeah. comes to visit his mother, he, he sometimes gets a visit from me. As well. <laughs> I, <nip up. laughs> I know his mother now. Oh, wow. But, uh, it's I've, a lovely bit of artwork, isn't I've it? I've also got this yeah. one, one down there, the Iron Tiger. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's okay. one of his. Right. And he's also got another six Jack Higgins, which are mine. Yeah. When I next meet him. Oh, okay, lovely. <laughs> okay, so uh, what is this one? The Rusted's Case. Um, Rusted's Case, yeah. And it's um, another Hans Helder. Yeah. And after Hans um, Widow mm -hmm. sold off all the artwork, um, I called in to return some other stuff she'd let me and uh, she said oh by the way I found this one <laughs> I found some more <laughs> would, yeah. would you like it well it would have been rude, rude to say no, no yeah no, so. so where's this come from then this is from Handy Studio okay um, was this um, is that a pan yes it is it is yes, another pan yes yeah. it's um, I thought I'd one have of the Angeliques or something yeah no no it's um, a Jean uh, Plady no no it's, no. it's, it's a you may have to look it up. <laughs> I don't know everyone. No. Um, and I've also got um, a, some pre a lot of preliminary artwork to go mm. with this one. It's M202 Storm Jameson. Oh, right. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, there we are. So I've got a little preliminary one. Yeah. I don't know whether it's worth doing this. <laughs> yeah. So another Lance Horner. Rogue Roman. Rogue Roman. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's done a couple of editions. I think it might be a hand but I'm not 100% sure. I didn't get it in that set. Mm. And it was given to me because it's got a, it's been got a crack in it. All right. Um, but yes, we've had Lovely. score all by now. Yeah. But it's, it's in the Hans Helwig range. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just taking it as one of it his. It looks like one of his, doesn't yes. it? Yeah. What about the writing around the edges? So that, um, this this hand here, with the, um, that yeah. all seems very similar. Yes. So would that have been a pan editor or yeah, art editor? Is. Because at one time I thought, oh, but because it, their hand's how we're, he's doing the writing. Mm. But since I found other ones, yes, it must be who does the markup. Whoever was in the um, art department. Yes. Prior to printing, maybe. Yeah. That's a bell, Catherine. Wow. As it says. That's nice, isn't One it? I, um, Juliet Benzoni. All right. They're, they're, she's very popular. Yeah. She's got a lot of big following. And uh, I was uh, sort of on the Angelique. Yeah. It's, it's either you either like Juliet or you like Angelique and, and uh, Catherine rather. And uh, so she did Juliet series as well. Right. And unfortunately, the lady who ran the website has died this year. Yeah. Pretty. Because we used to pass on bits and pieces to each yeah, other yeah very popular yeah still yes. very popular yeah lovely what portrait of a young man yeah. owing mm. charles perry so this is an example of one with lots of different elements that have been yes. added and stuck yeah. down yeah but at least you get an idea of what the finished cover would look like don't you yeah yeah so sometime it would have had the title on there so yeah it's like all things with tape over the the reef nice. with a little swatch of colour there yeah and the word the reef is, is in that colour that's this colour for the title yes. for the reef and on the spine yeah. lovely very nice oh you've got such a great collection of artwork Tim it's amazing yeah. 
I think a little bit more variety. I mean, a, a yeah. different artists. So, so the majority is from home. There's one there. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what's going to the side. But yes. That's, that's, a, that's a fairly easy one to find. The White Rabbit. Oh, yeah. Bruce Marshall. That had a few reprints in its day, didn't yes, it? That one. You need to lift it up to appreciate. Yeah. Uh, it makes these difficult to display properly, doesn't it? Because yes. you don't want to take the no. bits off. No. I suppose the best you could do would be to maybe fold it around the back. I so it's done. all. There are a couple sort of that have got it around the kept back. Kept together, yes. yeah. Yes. Rampage. Oh, uh, yeah. Was it Ramage? Ramage, Ram 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 yeah. Yes, Ramage. Not Rampage. Um, but is that Douglas Freeman? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. It's a little bit me, of it's where striking. Is it like an acrylic or something? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. funny that um, Colin Larkin's got some hands mm. with Kevin Lyle covers uh, by um, Harry Hans, and I don't know what he did, but they're, they're a lot big chunks have peeled off. That's weird, isn't it's it? A shame yeah. because um, yes, just shows how delicate artwork yeah. is, isn't it? That's why I'm not taking that one. I'm leaving that one in the just uh, keep it as is. Yeah. yeah. It's a poor Gallico. Yeah. But they've had the chop top top. Yeah, what a shame. Yeah, yes. But look how detailed yes. that is. What a piece. And there was a big, a uh, lot of writing went there. On right. That they, that, yeah, that's blurred. That's disappeared. Um, yes, and you start looking at the little characters. Yeah, they're and fantastic yeah, pieces. I've got little sketches of him, mm. you know, and on all these little characters done separately. That is then And they pulled all the elements together. Yes. Very, very nice. Yeah. This one. The tiger. Race of the tiger, yeah. I picked up a second printing of this in a job lot off eBay. Yeah. And um it was signed. Yeah, I yeah, think I think Yeah, well yes. he must have done an he event. Must have then. Done, well I think he did dozens. Really? It's yeah. like a Diane Doubtfire. I don't know if anybody's got a copy she hasn't signed. Right, really, <laughs> yeah. I think That's it's fantastic. Yes. Oh, that's, I actually read these then. Um, yeah. And like a lot of the books, but <laughs> quite interesting. Oh brilliant. Yes, you start looking at the detail in the Wow, that's, yeah. that's just done for a book cover that somebody may buy and throw in the bin. That's it, and yeah. That's a rust. That's a rust, that's a rust. You're a hardened pan collector. Uh, no, that's <laughs> Humbra in the Atra piece or Humbra in the Crisis. In the Crisis. Uh, I recognise the book because uh, yeah, I'm a big Humbra fan. Oh, right. Now, yeah. The artist, I was really pleased to get this because the seller on eBay hadn't a clue who it was. Mm -hmm. And it's David Taylor who did many, many book covers wow and we the did detail behind, behind it. yes wow yes yeah. yeah, where, are, where are the other four lots of them? now this one is um again i bought on ebay mm. uh, because i didn't know what it was no and it's trouble in july but as far as i can tell they never published pan never published the book with this cover right there are uh, the others like greta and um Got it later, mm. all done in the same style. Yeah, and they were published, but as far as I've now, I've never found a copy of it. No. Wow! So I had to Christian, isn't it? Yeah. And again, I've got a preliminary sketch which is almost identical. Yeah. So I knew exactly what it was when I saw it. Wow! I mean, I've written Trouble in July, but um, <laughs> yes. And Golden Crab. Right. Where do we know him from? Uh, he did. That's um, um, Daphne de Maurier, the scapegoat. Yeah. Okay. But he did he, he did a lot of westerns. Yeah. Um Yeah. I did I, I did well with her because it was that one. Um, this one was on his art uh, his um you know um, agent's website. Yeah. And uh, at a silly price. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I inquired. Yeah. And he said, Oh no, you're gonna sell. Don't worry um, about that. Don't worry about that. I've got this one, and do you want that one as well? So I got them for about half the price of the oh, one. Brilliant. And because he said this one had been slightly, now when they got it out of storage, they can see. Has it been? He has had it lacquered. Or it, it was. He, had to, he said he had tried to get it professionally cleaned oh. to remove it. It was sort of somebody's varnished it at one time. Yeah. So you can see. Yeah. This is the Snow Walker. It's um, Farley Mowat. I think it's a piccolo. It could be a pan. Right. Because they publish both in. I think they decided some were more adult themed than, than others, others, and some yeah. came out as pan piccolo, and some was okay. just pan. But uh, yes, I say that one. Oh, brilliant. I say I like those two. This, the, I say the scapegoat. Very nice. I do like the ones with a, a front and a back. You know, yeah. Oh, absolutely. So that would have been a wrap around. It is a wrap Yeah. Yes. Lovely.
For some reason or other, they issue, Pan issued three editions of the skateboarding yeah. in about as many years. And then another Juliet Benzoni, again, a very popular author and book. Another Hans Helwig. Lovely. Oh, that one, yeah. Venice Benzoni, another popular song of the undersea. Yeah. Wow, well, this is slightly yeah. earlier. Um, yeah, six, the, six, four, the numbers, six. yeah. Well, you know, when you look and you look, I've got again, I've got the sketches of all the houses he did in wow. the background, and uh, elements of a girl named Tamiko. Though. That's it, yeah, or just Tamiko on one of them, yeah, the, uh, change whether it was the film or the book, right. So Hello, Mr. Twiddle. Yeah, it's a children's series. A piccolo. Yeah. A piccolo, By yeah. Alan, Alan Cracknell. Right. He did um, covers for him. He did artwork for men's magazines like Mayfair. And, oh, right. Um, which I, I have to buy, you know, for research purposes. Absolutely, yeah. Um, <laughs> but he's a really nice chap. And uh, The Roots of Health. Okay, oh, wow, well, okay. I don't know who the artwork's by, but... Uh, Look at that. For only law and health and beauty, everything you need to know. <laughs> Mad, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, foxhole. Foxhole. This is again is another Piccolo children mm -hmm. a double spread. Um, I and I have to go on the web. To be honest, I cannot remember. It's no, a, he's a known name, but uh, he didn't do that many. Can we? Right. Yeah, it looks okay. Yeah. Silver Hill. Silver Hill. I. There it is. Uh. I think Again, what will surprise some people is just the uh, the size of some of these yes. pieces, you know. They're that's, not that big. No, that's almost the size of the rock, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I can't remember who... I don't think I know who did that one. No. It's one of these unknown. Um, they did Snowfire as well. Uh, by the same artist, but mm. uh, no idea. This is by Gavin Rowe. Uh, he did a lot of the pony club type... Yeah, uh, he was specialised in ponies and things, but that's from Amy Blyton's Christmas book, right? Um, from 19, 1972. Wow, they, they would use it, you know, they, yeah. they, every year they brought out another Christmas book, and that was the cover for 1972, wow. which uh, I, I naughtily made in, into a Christmas card. Uh -huh. Oh, well, I, I you do own the original artwork now. Well, no, that doesn't. No, I don't. That doesn't count. In the mind no. <laughs> no, no, it's the seventy years, <laughs> like uh, uh, like authors, yeah. Um, uh -huh, another, another Dean Dean's. cover. That one, I'm still it's trying big, to isn't find. It? Yes, the um, a copy of the book with a dust jacket. Right, which has got that on it. Yeah. I'm going to cheat because I'm going to scan that in and make a book dust jacket as a template. If one doesn't turn up, until yeah. one turns up, but the book itself seems to be quite common, mm. but not with a dress jacket. No, always the way, isn't it? I know I had the same problem with the other ones. Yeah. You, know, you sort of look and look and then suddenly, ooh, one will turn up. Quick, quick. Yeah. <laughs> Before anybody else so gets Quick, there. grab it, yeah. This is a mystery one. Apparently it is a pan cover, but we had no idea. It looks vaguely familiar and all, but I, I titles I've looked and I thought, no. So we don't know where it's come from. No, but it's, it's a pan. It came out of their archives. Um, I know it was rescued from the bin. So if anybody's got any idea. Okay, that's another one for our viewers. That is a Return to Peyton Place. Oh, a classic. So that's all it is. It runs as, along the bottom of the book as a little right, strip on yeah. The and the rest of it would have been um, so, just all in a big title. Yes, it yeah. is a very big. Yeah. Grace Matilda's Peyton Place. That was the seller, um, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, but, but they also did a similar one to Peyton Place, which I'd like, I can't even get the book. Right. I've got the book for this one. Oh, well, yes. Oakley Hall. Yes. yes. Again, an unknown illustrator. Um, um, that's, that's okay. yeah. um, it's, it's, it's distinctive with the, the jawline. Mm. Um, there was a um, Judge Red artist called Mike McMahon who. who Dread with a very like mm. rigid jaw like that. That was just the only thing that sort of jumped to mind. Mm. But I don't think he ever did book jackets. I think he was yeah. more a, a young comic book artist, and that was in the late seventies. Was when he yeah. sort of started mid to late seventies. So I don't know how that fits in with that. But 
Return of the Tiger. Return of the Tiger, right. Nice. Yeah. Lovely. It's amazing. This is this is the one I liked. But just for the <laughs> whoever had the job, yeah. Each of these is a separate letter. Wow. And they, and they had to Blimey, stick put them each on. bit on. Yes. Bit by bit. Wow, look at that. Yes. This is a very late one because it's got the end, yeah, but also the, the ISBN. Yes. Probably about 1968, something like that. I've not read it. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's quite nice that it does have the colour swatches as well to, yeah. to go with the, the writing. I can, I'll find it on the shelf again. No, no, it's okay. Yeah. I can, I can yeah. find it and put a picture in of it, but it's lovely. Very, very nice. Oh, and, not, and this is a hands hammer. Okay. This is 1969. It was like Not as a Stranger. It was a, a companion to Not as a Stranger. This one, I had no trouble finding a copy, mm. whereas the other one was the one, as I say, I struggled. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't get much for your money. No. no. Uh, that looks uh, vaguely... Yeah, I was going to say Mr. Midshipman Easy. That's a famous bit of artwork, it is, isn't it? And that's John Rains. Yeah. And he got it to say, signed it for me when we went down to visit ah, him. Brilliant, time. yeah. Yes. That was, a, that was a good buy. I think it cost me... More to get it was in the states for some reason. Or it yeah, cost me more to have it posted than to buy it because <laughs> they didn't know what it was. You no, see, as soon as I saw it, I oh, recognize that style of artwork. Yeah, oh, that one that's William Francis Phillips. Yeah, and it's those are the children's book. I don't have a copy of that's okay. Part. A piccolo again? No, 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 it's a different a, no completely different um, uh, publisher. Mm. It, it just came in a a pile of stuff I bought. Oh, as well. so no, that's okay. Lot. Okay, yep, yeah, another monster rat, yeah. Shame. Um, I don't know if anyone was interested in this little story. Apparently, that motor torpedo boat was bought mm. by, was the one that was bought by Pan to bring the ship books up. Uh, that's same. the one, is it? You're right. Yes, and it, it was sold off and used for smuggling. <laughs> uh, so that's why it died of shame. <laughs> well, no, so it's a little bit more than that. Yeah. But, um, we probably won't go into that here. Yeah, wow. Well. But yes, it's, that was the Laloon. So actually, that isn't the right boat. No. I didn't look like that. It just, they've done it for dramatic mm. purposes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and if, you, if you go onto the website, you can find all the details. Yeah. They actually, you, in the film, they use three different models. We know the same boat. Yeah. There's a, a well known title. Anybody knows? Um, is it, um, it looks like. Um, Another Lance it is. Horner. Yeah. It is. is it uh, Return to... Mm -hmm. No. Mandingo. Oh, Mandingo. Mandingo. Yeah, Mandingo. all right. Yeah, yeah. Which Japan used in quite a few editions in different, yeah. in different styles, different, in different proportions and cutting bits off and adding bit. But yes. All right. And the artist is... Hans Helwig. Hans Helwig right. again, yeah. Yes. Wow. Okay. Now, with that one... We saw earlier on, uh, yeah. and that one. Yeah, that one, I didn't have, but I do have <laughs> the picture on the, the back. picture on yeah. the back for that wow. one. Wow, uh, the borrows. Yeah, the uh, the artwork for that one. If you, if you want to know where it went, the sabotage by the sirens. They, they're all group, right. Yeah, I've never heard of. No. They bought it so they could use it on their book cover. Wow. So. There on the is. record, on the jacket. Yeah. And then the apparently record, they yeah. sold it to a fan. So <laughs> a big fan of the sirens has got... Well, there you go. But I do have, to say, the back. Yeah. And as far as I know, this is sort of the only one we sort of did. But it's a Monica Dickens. Right. The House at World's End. Wow. Uh, Wraparound? Whole, uh, Possibly, guess, yeah. Yes. yeah. And there's a whole series of the house. World's End in Winter, World's End in Summer by P Peter... It's gone. Mm. Oh, here he is. Peter Charles. Peter Charles, oh, right. I know he's there. So, who, who did a lot of covers, but only these for Monica Dickens. As far as I can tell. I quite like this. Really, one. yeah, really intricate. Yeah. Very nice. Yes, that one I think I'm going to get framed. Yeah. Because I've run out of wall. That's it, yeah. You need to get a gallery uh, of some sort, Tim. Oh, another borrowable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. But this one. Back cover. 
is the back cover of oh, that one. Oh, that one. That one. Oh, yeah. So, the original borrows, and there he is. On the back as well. <laughs> Lovely. He's that sort of size, and he's actually that size. Excellent. There. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed that little look through Tim's incredible original artwork collection. It truly is quite something and unique. Thank you very much to Tim for allowing me to come to his home for a couple of days and film his collection. It was incredibly generous of you. Um, I'm sure everyone who's watched these videos has uh, appreciated your lifetime collecting as well. It really is something. So well done and uh, thank you for that. If you'd like even more pan content, don't forget there's obviously videos on the channel which you can have a look at. And Tim himself does the official pan collector's website, ticket.net, and he does a regular weekly blog with all things new that are related to vintage pan. So make sure you check that out as well. So there you go. Thank you for watching today. If you've enjoyed it, do give the video a thumbs up. And if you've not already, hit that subscribe button for regular vintage paperback content. And I'll look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.